What's up? Welcome back to the Caesar and Jeff vlog. Well, I've been going through a lot of hustles and tussles as being a South African with these huge extents of prices for our data, whether it's the yellow network, the red network, the black network, or the blue network. I'm not going to name names, but I feel like everyone knows them, and I need to do more. But other than that, <laughs> my package is finally here. I decided, you know what, let me just go out and get myself a rain SIM card. So ideally, what Rain is doing is that they're actually allowing you to pay $250 for uncapped data from 11 p.m. to 6 p.m. You have unlimited uncapped data and when it is from 6 to 11 p.m., you get charged 50 rand per gig which is actually not that bad i mean for example when you're looking at the yellow network for a gig for a month you're looking at round about 160 100 rand round about there within that ballpark and uh, that's a lot of money it's a lot of moolah being a south african i'm pretty sure you guys can actually understand and feel the pain it is really painful and well my experience so far, seven, di seven days down the line, has been absolutely at ease. I haven't really used it. Like the first three days that I actually had the SIM card, three, four days, I didn't actually use it because what they actually do is that your first seven days of actually having that RAIN SIM card, once it's been recurred and activated, you have unlimited data regardless of what time it is. So it's pretty much 24-7 of free data just for the first week. And I'm pretty much sure they're doing that just to get you hooked on that whole freedom of having as much data as you want. But apparently one of my friends had actually mentioned that they actually capped it down to 100 gigs in total for that first seven days. I didn't try it. I felt like once I got the SIM card, what am I gonna download? Am I really downloading movies? Am I really downloading applications that I really need? Or am I just wasting data? So I, need, I, I didn't actually find anything to just download for no reason, but so far so good i've been enjoying it it's been around about eight days now eight seven days and i'm still on it now the pros and cons that come in with it that i actually realize is that it is a 4g network strictly 4g now i went across a couple of devices devices such as two devices that come from vodacom and are created by Huawei. Well, one's from Vodacom, one's from Huawei. And I realized the one that I had from Vodacom, which is uh, the modem, what is this? Uh, modem USB connect only goes up to 3G. It is the Huawei E272. And the other one that I also have is the modem E220. And that is between 3 and 3.5G. I plug them in, plug them in via USB, plug it into my Wi-Fi hotspot, well, my Wi-Fi router, since it actually gives me access to do that. And it didn't work. So those were some of the hiccups that I actually had, that I had to find a 4G device. I even actually went to a point where I started using a very old BlackBerry torch, thinking that maybe it would allow me, but BlackBerry torch didn't have wife well hotspot and it ended on 3g it's pretty sad and unfortunate so i actually ended up just using my samsung s7 s9 plus as the main device and using the blackberry as my normal network device but i'm actually enjoying it and i strongly do suggest for those that do want to and bear in mind this is not a sponsored vlog this is not sponsored at all. I'm just out here mentioning it because it's been beneficial for me and I strongly believe it might be beneficial for someone else out there. And I'm enjoying it. Um, some of the traits that I thought I might have liked or wish I could have seen is that when I ordered online, uh, I gave it, I gave my SIM card a name called at CZNJ. As we all know, I am CZNJ. And the sad part out of the whole thing is that I was expecting 
this little thing here which is very transparent because it seems like grain wants you to well they sell in the whole image of you are your sim card you are your data out of his expected like at Cizu and j on it not a barcode but i guess that is my that's not my like i don't like why guys like that is my downside i would have actually enjoyed to have that but it actually comes in a little transparent sim card similar to how you get your normal sim card it's a transparent thing and you've got your multiple layers or your multiple stacks you've got pretty much your main sim card and then you've got your micro sim card and then from your micro sim card you've got your nano sim card so it's been designed and pre-cut so you can use it on any device depending on which devices you have and which devices you need to use it on but other than that so far i'm enjoying it and if i have any more hiccups that come into play i will inform you don't forget you need to pretty much have a 4g device in order to use the rain network other than that my name is Cizu NJ, and i hope you enjoyed and see you on the next vlog Ciao, au revoir.